Today we're at Scarford Road Cemetery in Grimsby and we're replacing one of the towers heads here. Uh, initially we checked the heads coming off and we checked all the uh, lime that was already on it and uh, today we're going to take the central point here and drill through it with these carbon five dowels my mate Trev's cutting down for me. We're going to go down uh, with the drill but when we go down to do it we're going to do it with a longer drill bit. I'm going to go down to the point of a uh, 150 depth so I'll cut these at 200 and then we'll see how it goes. So another thing we're going to be doing, uh, initially with the bigger uh, things that we're going to be using, the drill pieces, we'll measure, as this is an example, We'll have a longer one and we'll mark up on the tape measure how far the depth is and we'll either tape it or mark it on the drill bit ready for when we're drilling in here it can come right to the right depth and we'll know exactly how far to come. On the day that we're fitting it we're going to be bedding it with a jolly glue and a hardener just so it can seal it round on the bed and it can seal it nice in place. So today we're gonna to show you a little preview of it going in. You line me up. So as you can see, we'll find our centre point on the head of the tower here, and it'll fit into place like that, slide all the way down, and then land with the jolly and the hardener, and it'll be set into place. Obviously we can't do it today, but an example, if we try to do this in the rain today, it couldn't set because we need a dry surface for it to stay on and lay on and we need the jolly glue to be nice and dry as well. So when we mix it and we put a bed for it, it could be nice and dry to set on. When we came to the first job and obviously analysed the problem of this stone, the bed was uh, only about 5mm thick and initially it should be 10 to 15mm. We took it off and it slid straight off so that we know it has an instant repair. So when our, our repair is going to be happening on here, we're going to carbon fibre it, which it didn't have before, it didn't have any dowel in at all. As we'll show you later, you can go around every one, it's never had it in. We're going to carbon fibre the dowel in so it's nice and fixated and then we're going to put a nice 10, 15 mil bed on it. Once we've then fit that in, we're going to start pointing it up, pointing round the uh, middle edge here and then under these edge and then down on the drips, down on these sides and this side here. This is another storm repair we've analysed and we can see that the bed's failed and it also popped straight off. As you can see on the stone, on the mould here, it's just come straight off as we've took it off. So initially we were going to cut it off, but when we start to fit it today, we're going to use a straight new piece and uh, we're going to put it up here and we're going to line bed it straight on. And as you can see, it's already marked up for us. We're going to mark it, make sure it's leveled out and then put our bed down and put it on. Once we've got our new piece of stone and we've fitted it into the bed, we're then initially gonna point all these drips coming down just so it can seal it up. And there's uh, two lines either side here. And we're gonna point it up so it can be sealed in. Also on the same, we're gonna carry on the work on the drips here. And there's a drip coming down here. And then we've got some already done here that I previously did yesterday before we had this bad rain. We've got the drips that have been redone on here and this head didn't need replacing. It's nice, nice and fixated now into place and we've got our drips sorted on it. 